You guys silly? I'm still gonna send it. Last time on SV Full Send, the crew travels north along the coast of the Dominican Republic, they explore the area around Loop Run, and they go chasing waterfalls. First night sail without a skipper on board. <laughs> After getting in from a 15 hour sail from Loop Run to Big CNK, I got in last night around 9 o'clock. Wow, it's beautiful out here. I wonder what all the people do when they get here on a cruise ship to the to that town that was like pretty much non-existent. That. That's to the town Goldsmith, huh? Okay. Huh. <laughs> we are catching a ride back of the truck. Beats the 15 minute walk. That's right. Outside the resort, we go. <laughs> get some good Wi Fi, good food. Got and a pool. they got a pool, a nice little ocean front, too. Catch a lobster. Here we are in uh, Turks and Caicos, in the Caicos part. We're uh, near, just outside of Cockburn Harbor, outside the East Bay Resort. We're about to do a little bit of lobster hunting. Don't feel old. Today's the day. Today's the day. Let's get it. Got our uh, first lobster. First SV full send lobster, not bad. We were at the for uh, probably about 20, 20, 30 lobsters. He's a little feisty guy, huh? All right, well, you're gonna taste great. Thanks.
Once the boat reached Providenciales, a lot of crew changes happened. Fee had to return to the real world, and I decided to come back down while I waited for my knee surgery date a month later. To help prevent breaking anything else, I wore a brace to keep my knee stable. This would also be the last time we'd see Justin on SV Full Send. He initially wanted to head back to the States for a few weeks to hit the slopes while there was still snow cover. But during his time away, he decided to quit the SV Full Send venture. It boiled down to intercrew personality conflicts and no longer sharing the agreed upon goal of sailing around the world. We wish him the best. We had roughly 24 days to get from Turks and Caicos to South Florida so I could hop a flight to Illinois for surgery. And what a better route to get there than through the unbelievably beautiful Bahamas. Here uh, on SV Full Send in Turks and Caicos, um, about to head off to the Bahamas. Alan is dropping Justin off right now. On shore, he's heading back to shore to uh, go shred back in the States on some snow for a month or so. Um, and Alan and I are going to head north to the Bahamas. Boat is ready to go, ship shape. Currently, currently making some water. Sun's rising. We got up an hour early because it was daylight savings today. And, uh, well, our report said that the sun was going to rise at 6.07. And it was actually 7.07 with the time shift. So a little bit different on there. But. Thank you. Yep, yep. All the technical gear. Alan's got his on. Woo! Ocean Reef Club. Awesome gear. Love it. Appreciate it. Yee -hee. What a terrible design. I'd be so mad with that architect. Well, those were the debates from underwriting laboratories. Everyone went and looked at the blood pressure. Yeah. Yeah. This, this is, is New York. Alex Jones I'm not defending what you're Rogan podcast. Was pretty uh, pretty funny and pretty ocean. entertaining. They were sure. Apparently, there's a mm. third dimension. Two, yeah. Though. They Inter uh, like dimensional bubble, beings like and whatnot. <laughs> so we uh, thought that we were going to get our registration as well. I sent in the forms and they said they didn't receive them at all and I've got the sent email to the Coast Guard. So I resent it, this time I hand jammed it. Didn't they send us back to the bottom of the list? Back on the bottom of the list. Uh, I checked. That they're only on November. Bureaucracy, they make their own mistake and we have, we have to get punished for it, you know? So another five months, huh? So now we have to keep the uh, German flag up there longer. Really want all glory and I want to put uh, the name of our boat up. But uh, it's Lilo until then. Yeah, until we get that registration. Going with Devlin? He wants to run with the bulls. All right, so we got the uh, on it. We're gonna have it set up right. Ninth in the race, but still first enough, huh? So you're here. Uh, <laughs> while we're raising glasses, we should raise a few more for the boiler room girl. All right. Nice day. Let's finish our wobbles, getting some quick breakfast. Popcorn on my foot. What? Oh, popcorn on my foot. On some water. Yeah. So we got some cold. Turn all this warm water. And yes, we're drinking from the, the tanks. Yeah. That's good. See that, see that yellow and brown color? Yeah. Gives you minerals. <laughs> it's good for you. Beautiful sunrise. Happy Monday. Uh, we left uh, Mayaguana and we're about halfway to uh, the next. Uh, 
Atwood uh, Harbor, which is our next stop. And right now we are about to go through uh, Plana Cay East and West. There's a little cut through. We're about 30, nautical, 30 nautical miles in. We've only been dealing with about a meter to two meter swells. And we've topped up uh, top speed less than, or top speed was a little more than uh, nine knots. So just been uh, doing a little cruising, got a little uh, run for the most of the day. So just got the head sail out and motoring, motor sailing with the head sail. And uh, as you can see, this, you'll see in a second, it's pretty beautiful, nice calm seas. No flights? No, can't complain. What are you doing? Uh, doing a little uh, siphoning, a little uh, MIP gas uh, refuel while on the go. So we've got uh, we'll out here, just blow a little air here. And we got this little hose that you can see is pumping out the diesel. Yeah, that wasn't fun when we did that. So. We have been motor sailing the whole time just because uh, winds just have not really been cooperating. We want to get there on time with sunlight because of the reefs. So I don't want to be sitting here just slugging along. Now we got into the anchorage. Some water in the dinghy. It's time to shower and check it out. Only about seven feet depth. Here in uh, Bahamas, what's the island? Uh, the island is Ackland Island. We are at Atwood Harbor. All the way out there. Yep. Out there. Ding it in here. Got the grivets up on the uh, old outboard. We're gonna go get some diesel. Grab some uh, good food and some bohemian beers. Yeah. Now I just gotta find this road and then walk them out. So. <laughs> There's lobster parts everywhere here. We're walking along. Yeah, there's probably been about 30 lobster well, graveyard. If not more. We can get them. Dogs too. We're, gonna, we're gonna catch all of them and eat them. Yeah. Every night? Oh, this isn't very stable, but there's a conch. Pretty decent sized conch. Yeah, that is. They all cut the holes in. They've got to come up here and just like chuck it. Yeah. Check it out, we found a cave. Yeah, we just stumbled on, it looks like we got a cool cave here. It's not even on any of the maps. Something the locals probably know about. Darling Cave. Sick. Oh, it smells like poop. <laughs> Bet you there's bats and guano and stuff in here. This is where pirates hid treasure. It's got to be. Oh, there's definitely bats in here. You can hear them. Oh, sick. Yeah, cool, cool to stumble on this. Trees are growing up through here. That's crazy. The vines. If you like this video and want to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel and help support us on Patreon. You guys silly? I'm still gonna send it.